Hi, it's Sarah Berry from stampwithsarah.co.uk I've got a quick video for you today to show you how I made this card for my strawberry sketch challenge number 9 There's a new sketch challenge that's on my blog every single Wednesday and you can make your own card based on the sketch that I put up on, the, um, on my blog post and one lucky person will win my card which will be this one this week So you have from uh, today, Wednesday Till the next, the following Wednesday. So, um, but if don't worry if you if you if you missed out on this one, there's always another one on another Wednesday. So this card is based around the new stamp set and called Paisley Posies. Now you've got lots of lovely shapes in here, and I've just chosen some of the smaller ones and actually grouped them together on my block. So I can stamp them all together. I'm going to stamp them in Rich Frazzleberry today. The card that I've got at the moment is actually Delightful Dijon. So um, I just thought it would be nice to do a different colourway for you today. So I want my trimmer. And I want to score, cut and score my card base. Now this, I know this is half of A4 which matches my rich Brazzleberry ink and what's shining <laughs> it's gone very bright all of a sudden there we go that's a bit better um okay so this is half of A4 and I, I'm just gonna score that at ten and a half centimeters So that's my C6 card base, You'll, you should be familiar with that. And now I'm going to cut my um, very vanilla layer, and I know that is 8.5 centimetres by 14.8. Just cut a tiny bit off of there. So that's ready for my base to stamp. Now the blue that you can see which is actually called mint macaron is 2 inches, so actually I have this piece here, so this is 2 inches or 5 centimetres and now I'm saying inches this time because I have a punch called the triple banner punch and this wide groove here is 2 inches and my card will sit in that groove and go right up to the top as far as it will go and cut me out a nice triangle. Now you can also do a one and a half with the centre line or a one inch here in the middle. But um, you're not restricted to the three sizes, you can do something in between. Um, so don't worry about that if you do have one or you're thinking about getting one. So that's my quick and easy banner. My banner is going to be 14 inches long, uh, sorry, centimetres long which is five and a half inches and that's ready for my card now I need a butterfly, now the butterfly is in two pieces <coughs> and it is vellum here, the top layer is vellum which is this die here can you see my card And also the bottom layer is a gold foil out of this shape. So I'm just going to quickly cut both of those out now. Okay, so here we are. I've got my gold foil butterfly out of the, the whole butterfly. And then I've also got the more intricate butterfly here. Now you can see all the bits are still inside and I'll just need to use my sponge mat and this roller and it's got little bristles on it. Let's let the camera focus. <laughs> Stop focusing on it. It's got little bristles and it just it's, they're gentle enough you can't you don't you can't hurt yourself. They're gentle enough that you can just run it over and it will push the um, scrap pieces out of the die. 
So there we are. Just got one left there. Okay, so that's my vellum piece. And all that scrap will just get thrown in the bin, hopefully, or on the floor. <laughs> now I've shown I've brought this over so I can show you what my sandwich was. Now I had a clear plate at the top, then I had my die face down, then I had my paper or vellum underneath, and then this is the precision plate, and you have it this way up with the black up, and it's um it's a rigid plate basically. You instead of having two of the clear plates, you have one precision plate and one clear plate. Now that is because of the very intricate die that you have here. It just keeps it more um, more rigid and ease. It helps you get your butterfly out quicker, and it all cuts it out easier for you. Now at the, underneath that was a thin die adapter and also the big shot adapter, uh, big shot platform. Sorry. Now these two are brand new to the Stampin' Up catalog this year, and they have replaced the um, the white. Um, platform that we had with the um, like the hinged flip on. Now we've done away with those. If you buy a big shot from me, you will get these in it, or you can buy these two together, um, these separately. You know, you don't have to just buy a big shot. You can buy these two together, and they have made the center. I don't know if you can see that line there. They've made the center stronger um, because to to help prevent that bowing and that dipping in your um, your plate and your um, your platform and your plate. So that's a quick run through of what I used. Now what am I up to next? So I guess I can start my stamping. So I have the very vanilla and then I've got my shapes as I said before and rich raspberry. Now when I'm stamping, I want little taps on the um, the ink pad, which is a foam ink pad, and a firm pressure down, straight up and straight down. I'm twisting the um, I'm twisting the what am I saying? I'm twisting the block so I don't get the same pattern all of the time. I'm just missing that flower slightly. I'm not pressing down properly. Now the beauty of these stamps is they are photopolymer so you can see straight through so it's great when you're doing patterns like this and it's also great if you've messed up a little bit and you can sort of go over and try and fix your problem. There we go, that's not too bad. This one I won't worry about because it will be covered up. So that's my, I'll leave that out, that's my stamping on the background and it's stuck down with snail and this is a snail, snail adhesive which is a tape runner basically so all the waste that you normally get off double sided tape is stored in there so it's less mess this goes straight down the middle Now my stamping, I've chosen for you fabulous friends because I have a couple of fab fabulous friends that I'd like to send, to send a card to and I've already got them out, where have I put them? Here they are. That's the For You. And the fabulous friend is actually slightly curved. So when you put it on your block, you want just, well for, for this card I just straightened it out. And you can bend your um, your photopolymer stamps. Like if you wanted to really curve this, you you could do. So don't think, oh, it's slightly bent. I can't. You know, what would I do with that? You can straighten it out if you prefer to have it straight. But it is curved, so it will go into these matching banners on the stamp set. Okay, so I use my rich raspberry again. And I want a fabulous friend. And for you. I 
Now on the back of that I'm going to put some foam pads. Two down the bottom, two up the top and two in the middle. And that can go straight on the card now. Oh, I do like this purple. It's very nice. Okay, and then next I've got the gold butterfly. I just want three foam pads this time. I put them on here first so I don't go over sort of on the edge. If I was to put it on the butterfly, I might sort of peek over the edge and I want the foam pads to stay on there. I'll send to my butterfly. And then lastly, I have some glue dots. And I'm just going to put three glue dots evenly spaced down the centre of this butterfly. Now this will hold the butterfly onto the gold. But the reason for me putting the glue dots evenly spaced is because, as you can see on this card, I've actually covered the glue dots up um, with the gems. So this goes straight over the top. And instead of using the gold gems this time, I've got out some rich raspberry um, enamel dots, which will have three over those glue dots down the middle. Now that's it. That's that card. That's the, everything made. Which colour do you like? I'm not sure which one I like the most very special with that little bit of gold isn't it so that's that's the card for today I hope you've enjoyed it this one I have put the middle in and just kept those stamps in the same position and stamped randomly down the edge and I will go and do that now thank you for watching if you'd like any more information about the products I've used in this video today you can find all the information at the bottom of this um, video on YouTube or if you go straight to my blog, which is stampwithsarah.co.uk, you can contact me there. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.